Hi, this is Juan from the Music Square in Boynton Pro Audio, and uh, we're here at ATS Recording Studio today checking out a few different mics from Shure. Um, what these mics are great at is uh, a wide variety of stuff. You can use them on you know, drum sets, you can use them for vocals, um, but today we're going to be using them on a guitar cabinet, and we're going to hear how all of them sort of range in, uh, in response and what you get as you go up in, uh, in price for these mics. Um, all of these mics are going to be going through a Vintec Audio Model 473 microphone preamp. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a DI track that we recorded when we shot our Avid 11 rack video um, and uh, send that DI track through a, Mar a PB6505 Plus head into a Marshall 1968 412 cabinet uh, with Celestian Vintage 30s. To kind of keep everything fair, uh, we're going to use the same speaker out of that cabinet for all of these microphones. And the only thing we did is we moved the mic placement around a little bit as each of these microphones kind of has its own frequency response. We kind of put it on the mic, on the uh, speaker in a spot that we thought worked well for that mic. But it's going to be the exact same DI track, the exact same speaker out of the cabinet. Um, the only thing it's going to uh, vary is the microphone itself and just the placement on the mic. So we're going to go ahead and give those a listen now. So like with all microphones, you can spend a lot of time moving them around on the speaker to get a large variety of sounds um, with just the one mic. Um, but this gives you a pretty good idea of what each of these microphones sound like and how it has its own unique character. Um, and like we talked about earlier, there's going to be a pretty significant price difference between all of these two. Um, the PGA57 is a great, great microphone. It's really affordable. These are 59 bucks and come with a cable, um, and these are, these are really tough to beat. For, uh, for its price, and as you heard, it actually sounds good too. Um, we also used this on our Shure drum mic pack demo, and uh, you know, like with this one, that mic demo had no EQ, and uh, that uh, it's a, just a great sounding mic. Moving over to this guy, this is the Shure SM57. This is an industry standard. You know, if you've ever heard any recording, uh, there's a good chance that this is this has been on it. Um, just a great mic for a hundred bucks and uh, you know, used on almost every classic guitar recording you've ever heard. The Shure SM7B, this guy uh, maps for $349 um, and this is a great vocal mic, this is a, a great guitar cabinet mic. Unlike the, the SM57, this one had a little bit more of a natural sound of what the amp sounds like in a room. The, uh, the SM57 is going to have a little bit more top end, um, which can be great for adding some punch if you need it. Um, and then the KSM313 mic is a ribbon mic. Um, this one's a little more. This one's $12.99, uh, but just a great sounding microphone. And whether you're facing it from the front or the back is going to give it a slightly different sound. We used it facing the back to the speaker. It's going to give it a little bit brighter of a sound. And we found this one that... Uh, this probably had the most natural sound um, or most authentic sound of what was coming out of the speaker. Um, so depending on what your, your price, you know, your budget is or depending on what you're really after, any of these mics can be a great addition to your, uh, to your arsenal of mics. So thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to like our Facebook page. Check us out online at musicsquarestores.com or boyntonproaudio.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.